Hey, welcome back everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I thought I'd take this time before this next video to say hello to everyone. I wish you my best wishes if you're locked down or wherever you are watching this in the world. If you're a subscriber of mine, I do care about you. So uh, let me know in the comments how you're doing, where you're from, and um, how is it affecting you if you're still lucky enough to go to work like I am. I'm not sure how much longer that will last. I've got like a few jobs open, so I really need to close them out to get the checks on the way before it shuts down. Uh, if it does shut down, who knows for how long as well. So unprecedented times ahead. But anyway, let's start this video. We've got all the corking done and the gapping done. And now we um, are getting the airless spray gun ready. It's a Wagner Pro Spray 3.21. And I've just got it over the back of me. If we need that, I'll pull it out. And uh, Maybe if I get locked down, I'll do some live streams. I don't know what I'm gonna live stream now. I've got a big overgrown hedge over there. I could do a, a hedging video, but I suppose everyone's in the same boat, kicking it at home. But still, I'm still going to work. Monday, I'm still going to work. Today is Saturday, I work today. And I'm making the absolute most of it. I should be working now, back, back in my uh, early 20s. I would work, if there was a job there and no, no one was there. I'd be working like around the clock till I got it done, till I could put my hand out to receive that money. Anyway, moving on, we're up to the spraying. Let's tune right in right now and let's get this sprayed. But I will, this is one step prep. <laughs> Primer, sealer, undercoat, and one. Uh, I'm just it in Okay, so just interrupting Drulux, it is a pain, it is a real pain to open these drums unless you have something around. These tabs to open up these Drulux drums, um, I haven't seen them on any other paint cans and they are a real pain in the butt to open. So we're going to use this to seal up all the fresh plasterboard and seal up the timber frames and the timber skirtings. Got the Pro Spray Wagner Pro, Pro Spray 3.21. It's an entry level machine, it's a good machine. This is the outlet, so when you prime, it cycles through and spits out in there. So we're gonna put that here. So when you're doing this, you need a spare bucket. And this end obviously goes in there, draws the paint through, and that's it. We've got a respirator, so we're going to make sure it's in the off position. I'm going to turn him on and come around here. I'll show you how to operate it. There's a little ball at the bottom. Push that a couple. There's a button in it. There's a little ball bearing in there, and it just loosens that up. It hasn't been used in a while. We'll turn it on. Make sure you have this in a bucket. Priming function around here. Up for spray, down for priming. So you want to prime it until the paint starts coming out of here. And probably a bit of water in the line too. The James is going to be back rolling. Alright, so at this point you can see I've told Junior to cut the camera and this Wagner Pro Sprayer 3.1, 3.21, it is just not priming at all. Actually, whenever you're doing this at home, always sort of get it going in water first, that was my biggest mistake. I didn't know what to do, so I turned to YouTube and I did a bit of a search. I typed in um, Wagner Pro Spray not priming. Automatically come up with um, some results from West Spray Ellis, which I'm already subscribed to and he is really good You can see what I did here. I picked the first video First cab off the ranks and it was his video on how to fix it, it was the exact same machine as well, mine And I recognize this channel. I know he, uh, happen, he pretty much knows happen, everything And this is what causes the machine to be going up and down really fast So if that's the case, I mean something I watched the video in its entirety. We all sat around and watched it then we proceeded to take the gun apart, although I don't show it, 
we got it all going again and I want to give a big shout out to Westbury Ellis for making that video because it saved us a great deal you'll never know. So thanks very much. I'm going to go over and I'm going to like that video and I'm going to comment thank you and how much it helped me. So thanks if you're watching this. Thanks very much. So let's continue on. We got it going now. Rejoice and it only took about 20 minutes to do as well. So if you do have a problem with your spray gun, just go straight onto his channel or just type it in YouTube and definitely he has a lot of great information there big shout out to him because it saved me a lot of money if I couldn't do that that day I don't know I don't have a lot of time to go back to do it and losing one whole day if I've got James there come from the Gold Coast and Junior there to follow me with the camera would have been a big waste of money would have been a big waste of money and let me just mention my camera a sacrifice sacrificial lamb this camera this was the camera that I used for it and you can see all the overspray on it sacrifice that for you guys so hit that like button but anyway let's move on let's get this sprayed let's get this done let's see in this video coming up how long it takes me we've got two days let's see how far we get it's a five bedroom house and we're not doing bathrooms so let's go Hey? Eh? Anything I should be doing? Uh, no, just to make sure I get all the plastics up and nothing uh, should get painted, you know, they shouldn't get painted. Oh, uh, mate, it's more the floor there, more than anything. Yeah. Uh, the floor has in this whole way and out here. Yeah. Um, we'll do all the doors first, spray all the doors so we can dry them. Yeah. So we can do them now. Well, yeah, have a little practice, eh? Have a little bit of That's about it for this video. We've got the gun all working. We're ready to go in the next video. We're gonna fly through. 
So if you're not subscribed, if you're one of the many people watching this and you're not subscribed, if you haven't commented yet, you know, let us know what you're doing and I'll see you tomorrow.